Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 385. Find the length of the longest common prefix. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So there are two main ways to do this one. Um, I'll show you the way that I did it, and then I'll talk about the way that probably could have done it. Um, the, the way I did it is just a way, kind of basically hash every possible prefix for every possible string. So there's five times 10 to the uh, four things, and you, the longest could be eight. So if you do like an eight square thing, or like the summation of one plus two plus three plus four, you know, um, what is that, like 45 or something like this. Um, so 45 times that is basically what I have, right? And this is like 50,000, so 45 is like a little bit over, or like two point two and a half million, right? So yeah, so that's basically the idea here is that I literally prefix or I um, I, I hash and put in a set every possible prefix. And then after that, uh, on the best one, I look it up to see if any if all the prefixes are in the thing. And then we just kind of update best. There are, um, so this is pretty uh, expensive still, to be honest. And let me take a look real quick to see the submission time. Uh, I, I played around with some stuff, but um, yeah, so 980 is, to be honest, still a little bit slower. There are some optimizations that you can, ooh, there are little, <laughs> a couple of optimizations that you can make here. One is that you could convert this to a try. Anytime you see a prefix thing, you probably should at least give a try uh, or prefix tree. Uh, well, you know, it is named for that reason. Give it a try, right? So you have a... Give a try a try, okay. Not intended, but that's fine. Right? For example, if you have to if you have a thousand, then you just you know create a tree with one, zero, 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 and then so forth, right? So you definitely should be doing that and that'll make it um I think in time it's probably technically slightly faster just be because you don't have this thing and definitely in space, um eh, overhead is always a little bit tricky to count, but it it should, you know. Each node would only have one thing and it'll be much cheaper. Um, the one, the another thing that I could have done if I looked at this is that I could have actually just count from best plus one, so so that I don't have to kind of look up all the other things. Maybe that should be faster as a result, right? Um, because then now I don't have to count all the possible smaller ones that cannot make the answer faster, right? And now this is eh, okay. I mean, it's only marginally faster, but it's still you know, an optimization that we can make. And then here, of course, we just, best is equal to I if it goes bigger. So, um, but yeah. Um, but I mean, th that part, uh, it doesn't get one that much, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, um, these are two things that you could have done. But I think for, like if you're doing this on an interview, the try way is probably the way that is the intended solution. So definitely do that. I mean, I was able to do this in two minutes and, you know, that was because I did some shortcuts that I knew that was going to be fast enough, maybe. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Let's go. Find the link with the longest common prefix. <sighs> what does this mean? The big numbers, okay. There you go, well found. No, this is more than that. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I guess it's a little bit input that kind of dumb, but I'll be fine. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Let me know how you did and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.